A township official in Franklin County facing charges for allegedly misusing $150,000 of taxpayer money. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Evan Forrester. Despite calls to resign, 56-year-old Carrie Bumball remains a Quincy Township Supervisor. Fox 43's Harry Lee talks to community members about how the revelation has changed their view of local government. Building up this wall ultimately brought charges down. A grand jury indictment alleges Carrie Bumbaugh claimed a township sewer pipe leak caused damage. But court documents say there was no evidence of a leak. And Bumbaugh's second cousins and downhill neighbors John and Tina Bumbaugh said any leak would have damaged their house instead. Runs downhill. <laughs> yeah. Attorney General Josh Shapiro alleges Bumba forged a document to receive nearly $100,000 from the township's insurance company. Instead of using the stolen funds to demolish the wall, Shapiro says Bumba directed township employees to spend weeks doing the work full time and later stole tens of thousands more to repave his driveway. John and Tina Bumba say they weren't surprised at the allegations, as they've seen Bumba receive personal services from the township for years, like plowing his driveway in the winter. Hey, it's pretty much just a, a running joke. Whenever something was done to his house, it was, oh, the township must have got another grant. Light of everything that's been in the newspapers and all over the news in the last week or so, I would like to formally ask Harry Boomball for his resignation. Community members filled a Quincy Township board meeting on Tuesday looking for answers. If they knew about it or had any part in it, they should be resigning tonight. Boomba did not address the allegations, but he did join fellow township supervisor Bob Gunder in voting to give himself nearly $11,000 for unused paid time off. Aye. Aye. No. John and Tina Boomba say actions like that make them distrust local government. They want the misused funds returned. Yeah, him paying the money back would be a storage. In Quincy Township, Franklin County, Harry Lee, Fox 43 News.